Next up, it's the Yamaha FZS600 Phaser. Powerful detuned Thundercat engine, comfortable upright riding position and 20 litre fuel tank make this a great bike for any journey, a true all-rounder. When this model first arrived in January 1998, it was as revolutionary then as the 1000cc phaser is now. With close to 100 brake horsepower on tap and the brakes from an R1, it was no ordinary street bike. Delivering exhilarating performance, rider and passenger comfort, it's not surprising that the versatile phaser has become one of the leading middleweight all-rounders in the European market. Right, Mark, bike number two. I think you might like this one a little bit more. It's looking a bit better right from the off-ramp. <laughs> what do you think of the looks of these? Um, I quite like the looks of this. Um, it's got a bit more of an aggressive look. It's got mm -hmm. a few of the aftermarket things like the belly pan and the huggy on the back. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. It's also got a few little pink bits. The pink bits were the thing I'm not too sure about. Right. It's um, a bit tarty. Yes, I dare, dare say it is a little bit, but they are a great bike. I mean, it's a 600 engine, obviously, and um, it, it is a good bike, and it's also got a little bit of fairing. Yep. So uh, it should protect you against the elements on should, your on your longer rides. Should get a bit of protection from it. Yeah. Hmm. Does it? Does it looks wise? Does it in, entice you into looks getting on wise, it? Looks wise, yeah. I think um, it's a good start from it with the way it looks. Hmm. You, know, you don't mind being stood next to this one. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we'd like you to get on it. Right. I shall do that. Super. Mark is riding the 1998 model priced at £2,999. This model was replaced by the FZ6 in June 2003. For the money, the Phaser is an amazing bit of kit. It has plenty of performance that's easy to get the best from. The grunty and revvy four-cylinder motor is more than merely usable. This is a great wheelie bike, but it's also up to chasing sports bikes along all but the fastest roads. So, Mark, the phaser. Much more enjoyable, Fred. Oh, good. I like to hear it. Tell me about it, then. Uh, it had definitely had a bit more poke about it. Yeah. I did enjoy the uh, performance of the bike. Uh-huh. Um, the only thing I will say is I don't know if it needs new tyres or not. It didn't feel too great. A little bit square, maybe? Yeah, maybe, yeah. 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 Um, it handled fantastic. Um, I love the position of it as well. It was quite comfortable. Mm. Plenty uh, of power there as well, isn't there, with these? It's got plenty of pickup. Yeah. That's what I liked. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only thing I probably would do is change the handlebars. Right. I weren't too keen on the bars. Right. Uh, where everything was was fine, the clocks were great, uh, there was protection from this, and the mirrors weren't too bad either. Mm -hmm. I mean, the engine, when you actually look at this bike, it looks a very tiny bike. It looks very nice indeed. Yeah. It's obviously been well looked after. Yeah. I mean, it's a, an R edge, <laughs> and uh, it, it, to me, I just think it looks like a really good example, apart from the little pink bits. Yeah. Uh, he obviously looked after it, or she looked after it, mm -hmm. but there's that tart element yeah. to it. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're easily replaced, though. If they are, yeah. If you do like the bike, they're easily replaced. Yeah. Um, I did like the additional belly pan. I mean, I just think that finishes it styling off quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit taller than the CB500 as yeah, well, which the, is probably an, uh, an advantage for you. The position was fantastic. It really was comfortable. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Uh, Brilliant. I could do miles on it. I'm liking what you're saying. It's very positive, very um, good. The other thing I liked about it was you could sit and tootle along, you can commute on it, but if you pull the throttle back as well, you can really go with it as well. <laughs> Stop that. We've been riding six months. Stop it. We want you to keep your licence. Well, we'll go to the scoreboards then and see what you give it. OK. So, Mark, what do you give the phaser for style? For style, Fran, it turns a few heads, so we'll give it seven. And performance? Performance, you grow horns, so it's got to get a seven again. Practicality? Practicality, I'll give it a seven because it does everything I want and more. And reliability? Well, it's got that Thundercat engine, so any problems that will have been ironed out, we'll give it an eight. And finally, value for money. Value, it's an excellent bike in excellent condition, so we'll give it seven. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>